as a trainer, how do you choose a driver for your horses? Oh, that's a good question. And, it, and it's probably one of the more difficult things to do because, uh, you know, they're out uh, to uh, earn as much money as they can and they choose the best horses available and I'm trying to do the same by choosing the best driver available and uh, it presents a challenge because you can't always get the driver that you want um, so it's just like a process of elimination of the driver you choose is not available then you go who I think is the next best available driver for for my particular horse. Um, you usually aim for the top guys uh, wherever track you're going. Um, you know, usually they're winning uh, most of the races, so you have to have them on your horse. And if they're not on your horse, then they're on somebody else's horse. So, um, and then there's certain certain horses that need uh, a certain type of driver. So I'll go that way. But majority we go with the top guys at the top tracks. When you talk about the top ten drivers at any track, the only real difference between them is the different colors they wear. One guy's just as good as the next as a rule. Sometimes you'll try to suit a horse to a driver, you know, but overall, if I've got one of the top 10 guys, if, if they can't get the job done, it's not their fault. It's generally the horse. Some, someone that fits a horse, like if I've, I've owned horses and I've had to get people to drive them lots of times and I, you know, I'd, if the horse likes to leave or, or likes to be raced a certain way, I'll look for someone to, to fit that, uh, that horse's characteristic. I think Certain drivers, I know myself driving, there's lots of horses I don't get along with and someone else might get along better than me or, and there's lots that I get along I think better than other people with and it's just, you got to fit the horse with the, the, the r proper driver I, th I think. Meg usually just lets me drive because I honored them so she doesn't have any say but uh, you know what, a lot of times it's, it's, uh, it's who you have luck with, you know, you like the, you know, the, the, you try and get one of the top guys and uh, sometimes it doesn't work out, you, you get somebody else and you happen to have any luck with them. I, I know of lots of guys who, who don't use certain people and it's not because they don't think they're good drivers, it's because they, they just don't have any luck with them. So uh, if I'm racing one in Toronto, m most times I... I throw Jody on because I'm friendly with him and I, I think he does a good job and he, he listens to me despite the fact that everybody else says they don't he doesn't listen. Uh and if I don't get him, you know, I've I've had luck using lots of people, you know. Scotty Zero and drove a lot for Stuggy McNair and all did a good job and a lot of times it's a certain horse too. So I think it just depends on you hit when they're good drivers I don't think it matters. Just always five or six guys at a certain place that'll do a good job. I choose on based on how my horse is performed and how versatile they are. Um, but the one horse I have right now, he can go with any driver. But right now, since I'm so young, I pick the drivers that I get along with. So, and the ones that will actually give me good feedback. Because if I don't get good feedback, then I won't be able to succeed to the point where I got to work harder. But that's how I choose my driver. Um, experience how you would um, fit the horse. Um, there's drivers that fit different horses and that's what I usually go by. If the horse is lazy, an aggressive driver, um, sometimes you need the older guys that have a little more experience, better hands. Um, the young guys usually are the speed guys, so, but uh, just something like that. Well, Trotters and pacers, uh, different drivers for different horses uh, experience. Some people are money drivers, it's the same as uh, any other sport. Uh, some people handle pressure well and some people don't. I go with the way I, I watch styles of certain drivers and I'll try to pair them with each horse. If I think a certain driver would suit a horse better, then I'll go that, that route. Uh, we usually try to pick the driver that will suit the horse, you know. Not all drivers suit every horse. With, with myself, I, I, I try to fit a horse with, with a driver. If I have a hot horse, then I want a, I want a driver with soft hands that, that's going to, um, uh, in the post parade, that he's going to keep him quiet and, and, and it's not going to. Whereas if I, if I need a horse that um, needs to be woke up, then, then I would go with a little bit more aggressive I, I, a driver. I, I just feel that they have to, the, the driver and the horse have to suit each other. It all depends. If I have a lazy horse, I, I like an aggressive driver, and if I have an aggressive horse, I just like to go the other way, uh, especially one that's not 
you know, don't get too excited behind the, some of these guys can really send the horse down the road. Uh, for, for an aggressive horse, I like a calm driver. Well, I always used Lucolette over here because he always took care of my horses in a good way. And he don't think about just the race, he thinks of, about the next day. So I like him. That's, I like the old school guys like Jackie Moe and Sylvain Filion, those kind of guys. I'm lucky I got uh, Sylvain driving most of my horses, so uh, it's not hard to choose. But, uh, you know, a lot of times the owners uh, prefer one, one guy from the other, but uh, uh, that's about it. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you got to go sometimes with the horse you got. Uh, sometimes uh, you got to put a more passive driver on a high, <coughs> how do you say that, uh, high strong horse and uh, so in a uh, lazy horse you put a more aggressive driver on so you got to go with uh, what the horse uh, suits the best you know. A lot of times I leave it up for the owner um, if they have like a favorite driver or I try to uh, fit the driver with the horse you know if I have an aggressive horse maybe a more calm driver or you know not as not so aggressive and vice versa you know. You have something to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> Which driver would you like? <laughs>